Thank you. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually presenting uh, on behalf of Mampu, uh, uh, the Digital Document Management System Project, which is uh, the champion project uh, for uh, this year. And uh, this has been an exciting journey towards, uh, towards the paperless uh, government. So uh, some of the facts I would like to share about uh, Mampu as an organization, which is uh, basically one of the, the catalysts in uh, uh, e-governance uh, as far as the government of Malaysia or the gov uh, government of uh, Malaysia administration goes. Uh, Mampu is responsible for modernizing as well as reforming uh, the public sector by the, the use of uh, uh, ICT uh, as, as a platform the agency has been doing uh, great business uh, for uh, you know almost uh, 25 years now. Uh, this particular project uh, that uh, you know uh, uh, I'm going to present today is uh, basically a digital document management system. May sound uh, quite simple, uh, 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 pretty uh, I would say known terminology that what you need uh, to be a uh, paperless organization and specifically for a public sector uh, everyone would agree that uh, there are a lot of uh, you know uh, papers or files that we get to see when we visit uh, any of the government office and uh, you know in the in the quest of becoming paperless going digital and surviving in times like these uh, i would say the government of malaysia rather started a bit early so uh, we have been uh, you know uh, uh, you know, working on this project and have implemented this uh, across uh, 180 government agencies so far uh, as a flexible project under under mampu which is an, an agency under uh, uh, prime minister office uh, in malaysia so what ddms provides is basically a platform uh, an enabling environment for entire government to actually uh, transact their business uh, uh, digitally manage all the information that gets generated at uh, uh, you know, either the ministries or at the affiliate, uh, you know, agencies uh, with the ministries in a in a digital manner, uh, while complying to a lot of uh, international security, uh, information security standards, etc. Uh, some of the key features for this particular project is that uh, it automates the entire life cycle of any information, any record that gets generated uh, within a public sector organization uh, from capture to uh, managing and sharing it across uh, ministries or across users or department or staff within ministries and consuming it in a digital form rather than uh, you know managing it in uh, you know in a paper form uh, etc uh, provides centralized information uh, management across uh, the government uh, and it's a multi-tenant platform and we believe that uh, this is a one of a kind of project i would say the first in the world to actually provide a platform where the entire government uh, uh, more than 180 agencies that we have rolled out and we have a target to roll it out to approximately 700 government agencies by end of 2025. So we believe that this is first of a kind of project where all the ministries and agencies are sharing a single platform to manage all their records uh, from end to end, uh, creating it in a digital form, managing it, sharing it in a digital form, disposing it in a digital form, thereby not only uh, you know uh, uh, making the the government uh, 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 processes and the citizen serving efficient but also you know uh, helping environment uh, by actually not using or rather reducing uh, the uses of paper a lot uh, it's compliant to the international standards msiso 16175 which is the international standard for records management electronic records management highest data security possible it, the system is available 24 by 7 to all the users which means that even in the difficult times like these uh, the government was able to conduct their business because they had access to all the information in a digital form uh, even when the government staff was not able to you know attend their office due to lockdown etc and it's hosted in a private cloud of government so fully secure so these are some of the the key attributes of uh, you know this enabling environment uh, called the ddms the challenges that it addressed definitely reduce the paper clutter across offices you see less and less of papers and files in the government offices everything is digital being accessed you know through a laptop or a desktop or a mobile device address the problem of you know missing records I'm, i mean it might sound a bit negative but i guess this is pretty common uh, you know in the in the, in the in the industry not only in the public sector but across organizations that you, when you have information or documents in a paper form in a physical form they often go missing uh, so by going digital you know we eliminate that addressing the compliance issues eliminating the high cost of silos that you know each of these ministries or agencies will have to then you know in the in the past 
you know, used to have their own silo system and, you know, uh, the wheel used to get reinvented again and again. Uh, so we eliminated that reinventing of wheel in each of these agencies and, uh, you know, the new agencies can be onboarded digitally and uh, they leverage, uh, they leverage the, the standardization that this uh, platform actually enables and definitely facilitates the remote working because all the information that is uh, required for a government officer to uh, to make a decision is actually available in a digital form uh, anytime uh, anywhere so these are some of the challenges this platform called ddms uh, addressed the benefits uh, uh, of course uh, you know having the information in a digital form uh, provides the authenticity and reliability uh, of the records makes it available 24 by 7 anytime anywhere it's a lot of convenience to the users uh, using all the industry standard security protocols, standardizing the best practices of how the government or the public records must be managed and securely disposed, improving the user productivity and efficiency. There is no excuse to not having access to the information or maybe the file lying into, into the office. I'll go to the office tomorrow and then only I'll be able to make a decision. Well, that's not the case anymore. Uh, the, the digital information is available to, to everyone, uh, you know, uh, all the time in, in a secure manner. Uh, so that improves the, the dissemination speed of the information. And all of this platform is actually built on an open source technology stack. So by an internal study by Mampu, uh, this platform has saved approximately 30 million US dollars so far by digitalizing uh, the management uh, uh, acquisition, retention and disposition of all the information. And I would say this is still a baby step on saving the money, which is a hardened uh, citizens taxpayers money going digital. And uh, what the next step that we are taking at, uh, at Mampu is we are rather going a step further to uh, add all other components that are needed to make sure that uh, uh, all the government processes, the information that government needs to make a decision or needs to preserve uh, for a knowledge management, etc., is all uh, you know uh, connected in a digital manner. So there is going to be a digital workspace which will be available to to all the government staff across uh, government agencies again in a centralized manner rather than reinventing wheel again and again for each agencies. Government of Malaysia will be also using the digital signature using the PKI infrastructure. So there is no more physical signatures on any of the documents. So that adds not only to to efficiency but also you know saves. Uh, of course, the carbon footprint and uh, ensures that the documents can be verified at any given point in time. There is a real-time communication uh, uh, facility that will be built in within the platform, within the digital workspace. So, uh, you know, the staff, the government staff across ministries and agencies can communicate anytime as they, they, they wish, uh, make a decisions uh, rather than relying on the emails or relying on the physical papers, etc. And finally, all of these digital records will then be made available, uh, of course, uh, in a, in a, in a uh, you know, controlled manner to, to the scholars in the universities, etc., so that they can study, uh, they can uh, 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 discover a lot of information that keeps lying in the digital form in a lot of decision papers that are built across the government and even suggest ways and means to improve uh, on the government processes and how the government can actually serve uh, the citizens better. So making the entire information cycle uh, digital in a centralized platform in a standardized manner uh, actually helped uh, the government of Malaysia uh, actually serve the decisions, uh, serve the citizens better uh, and, uh, you know, actually even help the environment as well as, uh, you know, conduct business even during a tough times uh, like Corona. That's all I have uh, for today. Thank you very much uh, for, for the time uh, in this time.